name is Izzy. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. It's really helpful. Buckle up so you can take a ride with me on this journey. Today we are doing an unboxing of the infamous iPhone 12. I got it like three days ago, but I've been waiting to film it just because I wasn't feeling it earlier. Okay, so here she is in all of her glory. Absolutely amazing. A gorgeous brown box. Oh my God, I need scissors. Hold on, let me go get some scissors. Okay, so I couldn't find the big girl scissors for the life of me. For these delicate and petite hands, we got these mini scissors. Just get right into opening this iPhone because I need to use this phone already. You guys, it's already gorgeous. I got the iPhone 12 in, I don't know if it's just green or like pastel green. It's like so pretty, the box. The little apple on the case is holographic green color. I am a hoe for new phones, girl. If you don't have the newest iPhone, like you just have like this hole in your heart. You need it and you want it. And you like do whatever you can to get it. Here we go. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Ah, mm. uh, I remember like opening my iPhone. I have the XR right now. It was not that easy to take off before. Are we ready to see this gorgeous new phone? Are we ready, ladies? One more time, this is the box. I did get it in 128 gigabytes. Always had like 64. Let me tell you, as you get older, it is just not enough. I think any space is never gonna be enough. The more space you have, the more you just use. I'm guilty, like 64 just for real wasn't cutting it. Had the XR for like a year and a couple months. It's lasted pretty well. I've had to like delete pictures and videos like maybe six times. That is six times too many. <sighs> Let me take my asthma pump. Oh my God, for how excited I am. <sighs> we are gonna go in and open the new iPhone. Are we excited? I cannot wait to open this baddie. Ooh. Oh my God. It's so pretty. Oh my God, I imagine I dropped it like that one guy who, it was like all over the news, that guy was waiting in line, who was like the first person or whatever, got his new iPhone and he opened it and it like dropped and shattered. First of all, I found that to be so hilarious. Giggled so much. I had no business giggling, but it was just the funniest thing ever, I thought. So this is the new color. So, it, oh, oh my God. If I'm correct, which I don't think I'm wrong, it's so pretty. Let's take her out of the box. So weird. It came with like a little file on it or whatever, like a little protective thing to tell you like what each button is for. It doesn't really need explaining in my opinion. It's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know. Ringer, volume buttons, higher, lower than the power button. It does feel different. I will say like to the touch, like it's so different. I skipped the 11 because I figured the 11 and the 12 would be practically the same phone. Now that I'm looking at it, it is different from the 11, but. I like this one more TV AGs. I'm not even mad that I waited. iPhone 11 was not that great, but the lavender was really pretty. Let's get into the groove. So first of all, it is like shaped different than the iPhone XR. The iPhone XR is like a lot more round and honestly like lightweight compared to this one. This one feels heavier in my opinion. Actually, I don't know if it feels lighter now that I'm thinking about it. So clearly the cameras are different than the iPhone XR because the 11 and the 12 like practically have the same camera and the XR like had that weird like only one lens. I'm already loving this more because the iPhone XR, something about it like I didn't like after a while, but I was just waiting till this one came out. This feels like so much better. Don't even have like a screen protector. I need to go get like a protective phone screen ASAP Rocky because I always do this. Like I never have one ready. Also with cases. So what's in the box, I read this, like it doesn't come with a cube this time. It only came with the lightning cable, which is fine for me because I have like a million cubes and like a million chargers. For some reason, mine's never break. I've been using the same iPhone charger for like the phone that I have for like a whole, like the whole time and it hasn't broke. Like it's not broken still. I've used the same iPhone charger for my past two iPhones and it's still not broken. It says either something about you and your accountability for your iPhone chargers because mine's are still on and popping. It gives you the little piece to take out your SIM card. I don't know if anybody knows that, but this thing is literally to take your um, SIM card out and switch it or whatever. I saw some people doing their unboxing and they didn't know how to take out their SIM card. I was like, uh, honey, you literally just like get the little pick that it comes with and then you like put it in slowly. Literally like it pops open and then you open the tray and it's like right there. 
I will say it is scary when you do it though because it feels like you're gonna break it. Just have faith and courage and you can get through anything. So that's what comes in the box. I have to set up my phone off camera because I use my iPhone XR to film. I've been seeing that when you put your two iPhones like next to each other, you don't even have to back it up. Like it just transfers over. So that's like impossible to do right now. And then I'll be back in a second with it like transferred. My phone is set up completely. I did that off camera, like I said. I did order two iPhone cases prior to my phone coming. I never do that. Never prepare with phone cases beforehand. That is the worst idea ever. The rush and go buy something that I don't even like. This time I decided I'm ordering some like beforehand really like spice it up they're both from wildflower they have so many and they're really pretty so this is the first one that i got it says yeehaw and it has boots cowboy boots on it and red stars it is super cute and it basically goes with any outfit because it is beige the second phone case i did get is this one it is flower power it's so pretty, it has so many different colors and I just think it's, I think it's just gorgeous to be honest. So this is the other phone case. I got phone cases that I feel like would look good with the phone. It does show the color near the cameras. I figured please match with the phones. I think I did pretty successfully. The green one looks really good with both of the phone cases to be honest. A pat on my bag. I just think it was an amazing choice that I made. It's just so pretty. Along with the two Wildflower cases, they did give me stickers. The first one is identical to the phone case that I did get. It's Flame One, which is the case that I have on my iPhone XR. And if you don't believe me, well, I'll show you. Sorry, the lighting's making it weird. I'm not a liar. I swear. A strange twist of fate. And then another one I did get is this. I swear, I almost got this phone case. So this is fate. Like I need to order this because it's so cute. And I did get this like checkered one. It's all right. I wouldn't get this as a phone case. Checkerboard is cute, but like, no, thank you. And then besides the iPhone cases that I got, I did order pop sockets. I did get two and they were so different. So I got both. I don't know if you can see it, hopefully. <laughs> Put those on a clear case just because I don't want to ruin the wildflower cases that I do have with a uh, pop socket. Sorry, I booted. This video was pure joy because I loved getting a new phone. I love shopping for phone cases and pop sockets. It's all just amazing to me. Other than that, that is the end of my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ask me any questions you may have and I'll answer them down below. See you in the next video.